Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and I'm back to continue on with the Fool's Idol Archstone here at Demon Souls. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this part so far. This place has a really cool atmosphere, if you ask me. Probably the nicest, coolest atmosphere of the areas of this game. So, once you've uh, got rid of that piece of shit douchebag who's going to kill everybody in the Nexus, we're going to want to hop into this cage. And it's going to take us down to the next area. Down here, there's going to be all kinds of these weird centipede-looking enemies with, like, faces and stuff. They're really creepy. And the thing you got to worry out, worry for is they have this acid-like attack, which will erode your armor. I mean, I, I think pretty much one hit is all it takes, and then your armor will be destroyed. So, kind of watch out for that. I can actually see the fog gate as we're coming down. So, that's where we're going to try to make our path to, get through this big... This just looks like a river of death or blood stain, whatever the fuck this is. There's all kinds of weird tentacles flopping around. Uh, there's these weird enemies. So basically, you're, you're going to want to come down here on your own and grab any item I don't get, because all I'm really trying to do is find the fucking path out of here. I don't want to be down here any longer than possible. I don't like these things, just they're not really dangerous. I mean, one or two swings will kill these weird centipede-ish creatures. But do be wary of their acid attack. You'll see it, they'll spew a bunch of shit out at you, and if you get hit by it, like I said, it will erode your armor. So, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of running around here trying to find the staircase. Or, you know, whatever the fuck it is. There we go. There's one of the weird centipede creatures. And these tentacles, I don't even know what they, are, what they even do. I think they're attached to something. I don't really think they can attack you. I just try to stay away from them and not even worry about them, not even bother with them. There we go. Okay, down the stairs. I'm gonna start killing these weird centipede creatures. As you can see, look at them, man. They're fucking weird, dude. Nasty, ugly. Don't like them too much. <laughs> they do drop upgrade materials, though, so be my guest and grab some of these shards. I'm not really gonna go that route when it goes to upgrading a weapon, but what the hell, man. At the end game, who knows what we may have, what we may want to upgrade and take with us through a onto New Game Plus. So, again, just kind of follow the path where I'm going. Just kind of uh, keep following me along here. Keep taking out all these enemies. And don't worry about them too much. There ain't really too much to... Uh, not too much of a threat. Kind of just making our way up the path. Follow the stairs. Kill enemies as they get in our way. We're in the right area now. Here we go. Just slowly and surely hack away at these fucking things. Play defense. Don't let them hit you. I haven't seen one of them spew the acid yet, so... If one of them does do the acid attack, I'll kind of give you guys a heads up on what it actually looks like when they try to do it to you, so... I try to kill them as fast as possible if they don't even have a chance to do it, so... I don't want to get my armor eroded. Alright, killed all of them. I think that's pretty much all of them. Go over here, grab these items, and we're gonna go ahead, and go ahead and head through this fog gate. Now, I believe there's also gonna be some more of these centipedes through here. And they're going to mix in some gargoyles as well. But we're getting pretty close to the next set of chains. So we can drop that big mass of whatever that monster is that's chained up in there. The big... Uh, it's a big internal organ. Fuck if I even know what it is. I just know it's nasty. It's gross. we got to get it out of there. And let's do that. So, making our way over this way. I'm trying to remember if this is the case. The area where we start running into those black phantom mind flayers. If you remember those prison guards from earlier in the game, there's some black phantom ones in here, and they are rather powerful. And because of those two, there's only two of them we're going to deal with in this area, that is the reason I said to bring anti-magic field along, because if we cast anti-magic field, they have virtually no way of attacking. They will not be able to shoot magic at us, they won't be able to stun us, they won't be able to do anything. Just remember, if you do cast anti-magic field like I'm going to do here, you will not be able to cast magic yourself either. So you're going to have to go at it with melee completely if you do this. But remember, it's quite effective. Ah, oh, shit, messed up. Get my talisman out. Okay, let's get ready to do this. Alright, cast anti-magic field. And we're going to be able to just basically run up and fuck this guy up. He's not going to have any chance to even react. So Another thing I, d I think I did fail to mention is you're only going to need really Firestorm with you. So... Firestorm, Soul Ray, and Anti-Magic Field are the only spells you will need in this entire area. Look at that. Haha, -ha, he's trying to do something, trying to get someone's attention. Can't do shit because you don't have any magic. <laughs> so it's quite useful if you don't want to have to really deal with those Mind Flayers to have Anti-Magic Field when you come in here. And we're going to need Firestorm for the boss. Don't need it, but <laughs> we're going to be able to wipe him out uh, with basically two hits. So, Alright, come on over here, finish off these last few weird fucking centipedes 
they, they seem to have they seem to like attack with their tail too. So who knows if they're actually a centipede or not? They're just kind of annoying monsters. And I can see a crystal lizard up ahead too. I'm trying to zap him with Soul Ray, but I forgot. I got anti magic field out, so I'm not able to use Soul Ray. There's the acid spit. Don't get hit by that. That is the shit that will erode your armor. So I'm kind of glad I got an example of that out for you guys, so you can see what it is. What attack to avoid? And I don't want to miss out on this crystal lizard. He's got uh, moonlight upgrade materials for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and blast that little centipede near him. And I think three arrows should take out this crystal lizard, maybe two. So I'm going to be careful, get a good beat on him, fire some arrows at him to make sure he's dead. Because there's going to be a couple more, I believe, of these centipede things that could run out after me when I run in to kill him. I don't want to get ambushed and have my armor destroyed. So let's do it safe and... Nice and safe, nice and easy. We'll shoot arrows at that air, uh, yeah, at the crystal lizard from a distance. I'll see. There we go. That fucker would have jumped out at me. Who knows? I might have missed out on the crystal lizard. And I really want these materials. See, another chunk of moonlight stone. That stuff is important, guys, for powering up our weapons. So, did not want to miss out on that, which is why I used arrows on that crystal lizard. Come along here, grabbing. It's a lot of spice, a lot of stuff like that sitting around. So, be my guest. Pick it all up. There's going to be some gargoyles waiting to ambush you over here, so be weary of that. I'm trying to remember exactly where they are, so I'm going to go in here a little bit slower than normal. I think there's three of them. I can't remember for sure exactly where the gargoyles are. They're pretty sure there's one to my right, actually, right when I enter here. There's that one ahead. There's this one ahead. There's one at the end. And I do believe there's one to my right as well. He's going to start shooting arrows at me, but oh, I can't remember for the life of it. Ah, there he is. He's starting to shoot shit at me, so I'm just run back over here. See if I can get the gargoyles to come at me and fight me on my terms. Or just say fuck them and charge. <laughs> there we go. It looks like he kind of ran off over there. So I'm going to get Sori out if I can. Keep missing, but oh well, here we go. Oh, you want some of this? Bring it. Took a few hits there. Not really going to do too much of a big deal. I think I got blasted by an arrow, actually. Now he's shooting arrows at me, so... Fire a couple soul rays at him. That's two of the gargoyles down. I believe there's still one more. So let's kind of be a little careful about this. This not. Whoa, I just got a gargoyle crossbow, didn't I? I'm going to have to experiment with that weapon. I don't think I've really used that one too much. So, pretty sure there's going to be one more gargoyle that's going to drop down. There we go. There he is. Take him out. Fantastic. One less gargoyle to go, man. Those things get a fucking annoying. I'm glad we took him down. So now we're looking for another lift, because I believe this is the area where we're going to drop the second set of chains and get that big, massive, <laughs> undetermined yuck <laughs> out of the way of that, that tower. So here we go. Hop on this lift, ride it on up. Pretty sure we're going to get ambushed by another gargoyle or two on our way up here. Coming on the staircases, they sure seem to like to do that to us, so... Be weary of the gargoyles, and we're going to have to kill those four dudes. They will be worshipping the same kind of object they were last time. So once we get up there and kill them, we are pretty much home free. I just saw a gargoyle, gargoyle right there drop down. I'm going to ignore him for now. He doesn't seem like a threat. I want to get up here and get this part done. Because once you kill these fuckers and drop this thing, it will stay that way. So even if you do happen to die after you do this, you'll be home free to uh, the boss fog area. So kill these four guys, and you will watch yet another cutscene. Okay, so well, whatever that thing was, looks like it's done, it's down, and it's out of the way now. So, from here we can make our way back to that original tower. Remember where I showed you guys where there was that big creature was in the way, and we will be able to reach the boss fog now. So, if you make your way also down below where that creature was, where it dropped down to, you saw kind of all those centipede enemies pop out of it. I'm not heading down there right now because it's just going to be kind of a waste of time. I just want to get the enemy cleared out. But if you head down there, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. There will be... I don't know if there's upgrade materials. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a sword down there. There's just 
there's items down there. So be wary of that, though. There's a whole bunch of those uh, centipede dudes, which is why I don't even want to deal with it. I don't want to risk getting my armor destroyed. I want to get to the boss ASAP and get it cleared. So, anyway, just kind of follow my path. We're going to head back over to where that thing was, that big blob. Whatever the f <laughs> I'm done trying to describe that monster. So we're going to just kind of head this direction. And we're not too far from it, to be honest with you. So, here we go. Keep on heading over in this direction. We've got another one of those. Now we've got some centipede things since they were let loose when we dropped that big blob down. So kill that centipede. And keep on heading over in this direction here. We're going to want to make our way up a pretty long staircase. And there will be a black phantom mind flare on the staircase that's going to be bugging us. So from there, all we got to really do is use anti-magic field. And we'll be able to take out that mind flare. And we will be in the boss area. So... Like I said, if you want to head down below here, you can grab a bunch of items, but there are those centipede monsters all over the place, so it can be a slight bit dangerous just because there's so many of them and they could spew that acid at you. So, anyway, go and explore down there if you like to grab some stuff. There's some cool stuff down there, but for the purposes of this guide, let's go up down here and let's clear this fucking area out. we got one more enemy to go. Yeah, that, cross that gargoyle crossbow could be quite useful. I don't know. I'm going to have to give it a shot. So, get anti-magic field ready. And we're going to head on up here. Take out the last Mind Flayer, and we'll be at the Boss Fog. So there's not too much left to this area. We've pretty much cleared it out. So good luck on this Mind Flayer. Uh, this one is rather difficult if you don't have anti-magic field. You can easily get knocked off the staircase, or he could blast you. He, he can do a lot of fatal things to you if you don't have anti-magic field. So it's a good idea to use it, especially on this Mind Flayer here. Ah, oh, I spotted him. There he is. All right, let's get this out and let's go kill him. Yeah, these black phantom, like I said, mind flares can be difficult. So let's go on up over here and finish this fuck off and deal with the boss, right? <laughs> All right, should only be a couple of swings. I was kind of not swinging wildly because I did not want to risk falling down. Really don't want to fall down here. That would suck. Oh, and by the way, guys, those I believe those things respawn. Those are not one-time only spawning enemies. Those I believe. Those Black Phantom Mind Flayers, I'm pretty sure, will infinitely respawn. So don't go thinking, oh, great, he's gone. He's not coming back. I I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, I haven't double-checked that. I can't remember for sure, but I'm 99% sure, 99% positive that those guys do respawn. So, all right, we're up here. We have made our way to the Boss Fog area. I'm just going to collect an item real quick. And the boss is right through there. So this will be a good place for me to take a break after we grab this stuff. Well, not take a break, but end this video and continue on with the next. So, uh, let's see what's over. There's got to be some stuff over here. Please say it was something useful. But, pfft, I went over there. Oh, at least it was eight old spice and not just like two or something. So, anyway, from here, here is the boss fog. I will pick up the next video right at the boss fog. So, I hope you're ready to defeat your next demon. And all we're really going to need for this boss battle is Firestorm. Uh, I will show you kind of a nice little trick, though, when we pick up the next video right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I will pick up the next one right here. Peace out from your good old buddy, KB Giants fan.